Hello and welcome back to Casual Gastronomy. Today we're making katsu sando. Katsu sando is a Japanese sandwich that comes from two English words, katsu being cutlet and sando being sandwich, which has gotten really popular recently because of this new Japanese restaurant in California called Kombi, founded by two former Momofuku chefs. And what it is, is a Japanese style pork cutlet topped with a lemony cabbage slaw and Dijon mustard and it's in between two thick slices of milk bread. The thing that really sets this sandwich apart though is the shio koji marinade for the pork. Shio koji is a fermentation agent derived from rice and when you apply it to any kind of meat, it completely transforms the texture and the flavor and I'm super excited to see what it tastes like. And in order to get that, we need to go to the Japanese grocery store first. Let's go! To start, it's best if you start marinating the night before, but you can marinate it for as little as 8 hours. For the marinade, pour one cup of water, a third a cup of shio koji, and two teaspoons of salt into a deep dish or bowl, and stir it until all of the salt is dissolved. Next, cut a 12 ounce boneless pork loin into four medallions. Make sure to cut the pork with the fat side on the bottom because the fat is hard to cut through and could make your cuts a little bit uneven. Cover the pork with plastic, then pound it out until they reach about 5 inches in width. I thought I had a meat tenderizer, but I couldn't find it so I just used my mini cast iron skillet instead. Place your pork cutlets into your marinade, make sure they are covered in the shio koji, and let them marinate for 8 to 24 hours. While the pork is marinating, start making the cabbage slaw. Chop one head of green cabbage in half and shred it. You can use a cheese grater or knife if you don't have a cabbage shredder. Then add the zest of one lemon and mix. Once mixed, add the juice of two lemons and season with salt. Use your hands to toss and squeeze the cabbage until it's slightly wilted. Then set it aside and chill until it's ready to be used. Next, we're going to make our own version of tonkatsu sauce. We were going to just buy some from the store, but they all contained a lot of weird artificial ingredients that we don't want to be putting on our bodies, so we decided to try making something like it at home. For this, we added one half cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of clam juice, and about a tablespoon of butter to a small saucepan and set it over low heat. We stirred it just until the butter was melted and the mixture began to bubble. Then we took it off the heat, bottled it up, and let it cool completely. Now it's time to fry our pork cutlets. First, take your cutlets out of the marinade and set them aside. No need to rinse off the shio koji. Next, we'll need a bowl with one cup of flour, a bowl with two eggs beaten with two tablespoons of water, and a bowl with two cups of panko breadcrumbs. We felt like this dish needed a little garlic, so we added two cloves of smashed garlic in with the egg yolks. Now, one cutlet at a time, Start by dredging the pork in the flour. Then dip it in the eggs. Then coat it in the panko and press it in for maximum crispiness. Then, gently drop the cutlet into a frying pan with about 2 inches of an oil of your choice at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it fry for about 3 minutes on the first side and a minute and 30 on the second side until it's deep golden brown. 
Once the cutlet is done, place it on a wire cooking rack while you finish the rest of the cutlets. To construct the sandwich, start by slicing the crust off of some fluffy Japanese milk bread. Then place one of the pork cutlets onto one half, drizzle on a bit of the tonkatsu sauce, pile on a spoonful of the shredded cabbage, then squirt a little Dijon mustard onto the other slice of bread. Bring it all together and slice it into thirds. All right, so here we have it, the katsu sando, and it's looking great, it's smelling great. This one, not too hard, right? No, it is really simple and it smells so good. Yeah, and we had a lot less trouble frying this than uh, other recipes that... Yeah. We won't name names, <laughs> but... <laughs> this was not too difficult, um, very simple ingredients, simple assembly but I think the whole is greater than the sum of the parts and I still don't know how that shiokoji is gonna come through. Yeah, I'm really excited to see. All right, let's try the katsu sando. So thick. The lemony taste from the slaw so well with like the tanginess of the Dijon mustard mm -hmm. and then you have that crunch in the katsu. I love any sandwich with something fried in it. Yeah. Fried chicken sandwiches are top notch in my opinion. <laughs> that soft fluffy milk bread so so tasty and then you've got the pork on the inside also very flavorful. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm picking up on the shiokoji that much but yeah. there is something in there that doesn't seem familiar to me, and I think that might be what yeah, it is. Yeah, that might be it. We'll say that's what it is. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. That's what it is. It's the Shiokoji. The textures are just so good. The like texture is great. Soft bread with the crispiness of the pork. I love the deep toastiness of the fried breadcrumbs mm -hmm. paired with the fresh, kind of fluffy, untoasted bread flavor. Yeah. It's a nice contrast. This is a great sandwich. I see why it's caught on so much. Mm -hmm. It's not overly complex. You don't have to pick apart a million flavors, but it's just yeah. pretty straightforward, pretty delicious. That tonkatsu sauce as well, very good. I think normal tonkatsu sauce is a little bit less vinegary, which probably would work out better in this sandwich, but like we mentioned, we didn't want to ingest all of those nasty chemicals, you know, we're trying mm -hmm. to stay all natural here. <laughs> so ours is a little bit more vinegary, which maybe I think pushes the brightness a little bit too high, but mm -hmm. still a great sandwich. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Would eat again after we shut the camera off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Casual Gastronomy. As always, if you guys like this episode, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. It helps us out so much. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss another episode. And we will see you on the social medias with hashtag casual gastronomy. Bye. Peace.